สวัสดีครับนี่คือ News Nightcap This is News Nightcap uh, I've been away from English language news for a long long time uh, This is where I started out actually back uh, after I graduated from college I came back to Thailand served in the army for a while and then eventually I joined a program called Newsline on Channel 11 which was and still is the country's longest running English language news program. After being the, on that show for a while, I started doing business news analysis because I didn't like reading from the script. So I, so I wrote my own news script for, for the business section. Uh, and it turned out I, I began using that outlet to do political commentary. It was supposed to be business news, but I ended up doing political commentary. Uh, and at the onset of the military coup back in 2006, I started to criticize the coup leaders and also the government that was formed afterwards. And that got me suspended from my show back in 2006. This is Buddhist era 2549, by the way, going back you know, more than a decade ago which got me suspended for a month, which brought about my fame and then brought about my eventual uh, success over at Channel 3 in doing a morning news program. Then after that, I basically uh, ran through a gauntlet of, of uh, news analysis uh, programs and entertainment shows, game shows, movies, and albums that I had out. And then I basically returned to political commentary Sorry about that, there's a mishap there. I returned to political commentary on, uh, on a network that was formed after the dissolution of ITV. And the network that was formed is Voice TV. And I started doing my Thai commentary on political news on Voice TV uh, back, back about you know, nine or ten years ago. So all that happened, and now we're in the era of YouTubers, and I found it necessary to communicate my messages politically on this platform because it is apparently one of the few remaining ones left aside from Facebook. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to try to do a summary of the day's happenings, mostly political news, but also other important stuff about Thailand in Thailand. I don't need to do a summary in English on what's happening across the globe, you know that. For the expatriates who are living in Thailand, and for Thai kids who want to practice their English, and for everybody else who just enjoy listening to English, or enjoy seeing a Thai speak in, speak in the English language, uh, I think I'm the authority. So, um, so let, me, let me tell you what in the world happened today. I'm going to try to do this on a nightly basis. And however long this goes really depends. I have no idea. I have the intention of doing this forever. If you guys watch, if you share and click like and share and click subscribe and click on that uh, red bell that you have on the YouTube pages. If you share a lot of this, you're going to help give me the incentive to continue to do what I want to do for you guys. Okay, so I'm becoming a YouTuber. This is the idea, this is the platform, all right? And I also do my main shows on Voice TV, which is the democratic network, we're for democracy. I have several shows on that program, that's my real job. This is a part-time YouTuber thing, which I'm trying to do and hopefully it will become success. Only you can help me out. And on a nightly basis, I'm gonna do a 20 minute summary of the day's political happenings. Okay, I've ran on for about four minutes. Four minutes. I'm going to try to look at the camera and tell you what happened today. You know what? The only thing that happened today that you need to know about is really the dissolution of the Future Forward Party. Future Forward means Anakut Mai. It means literally a new future. Now, what do you think is the kind of message that is sent when a country's constitutional court, which is supposed to be the highest court of the land, dissolves a party with the name, New Future. It, it almost sends a message that we as a country don't want a new future. We, we don't want anything novel. We just want the same old stuff, the same old political parties. That seems to be the message that is sent. 
Now, I'm fully aware that they're, it, it is not their intention to send that message. I mean, they basically argue that the leader of the party gave a loan worth about 191 million baht to his own party. And that was against the rule of law. Because according to the law pertaining to political parties, you cannot receive a donation above 10 million baht. And in this case, if you look at the crux of their argument, and it is the argument of the election commission, which during this period is extremely active in trying to dissolve major political parties, they have done so before last year with the Tyra Sachar party back on March the 7th, right? So they did it again today. And the argument is that Tanaton, who formed the Future Forward Party, gave a loan that was essentially a special benefit to his party, a special benefit of which the value is above 10 million baht, and that is not allowed by the organic laws pertaining to political parties in Thailand. Now, here's the thing. It's not even a point of trying to argue whether or not Future Forward violated the law. All right, because if, if, if you're trying to argue on that point, it, it, it goes nowhere. It goes nowhere because uh, the, the argument of the judges is that, well, it violates the law because it is above 10 million baht and that any executives of a political party should be well aware that that money, because it is above 10 million baht, is illegal as a donation. They count the loan as a donation. Now, you can go into, you know, another hour of debates whether or not a loan is the equivalent of a donation. All right? It's not. But, um, you know, I've stopped trying to persuade uh, uh, people who are already preached. There's no need to do that. But the real argument against the solution is really about how political parties are not meant to be dissolved. Political parties go away when people lose interest in them. And political parties are popular when people have an interest in them. The very idea of dissolving political parties is essentially that the party itself is a threat to the country's democracy, well-being, overall stability. I mean, if you look at Germany's application of the Constitutional Court, they had it so that the Constitutional Court over in Germany would dissolve what was back then, you know, the Nazi Party. I mean, the formation of the Third Reich, or the or the idea of a neo party, neo-Nazi party being dissolved. That was somewhat reasonable. But but let 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 let, let let's imagine a little bit. For example, if you have, I, I, I and mean, I'm serious about this. You know, from our American friends. My American friends living in Thailand, you gotta share this because I'm I'm the only, I'm the closest Thai thing to an American here. Okay, I'm the guy telling you what's happening here politically. All right, and I I don't have Trump derangement syndrome. I'm not a pro Trumper, although I, I I do appreciate some of his policies. Right, I'm not nuts. I'm not crazy. I'm telling you the truth. So every English speaking person in this country need to be watching this show. All right. So help share, help subscribe, give me the incentive to do this on a nightly basis, okay? I know the lighting ain't that good, but I'm doing my best. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Imagine this. Let's say if this is in the United States, and let's say if you guys have a constitutional court, which I know you don't. You have a Supreme Court. That is a legitimate Supreme Court. It's, it's an absolutely awesome Supreme Court. Let's say if, okay, let's say you don't have a constitutional court, okay? Let's say if you have the Supreme Court, and all, all of a sudden, some guy, and really, in this case, it's like, it's a guy. It's a guy that walked over to the election commission with pieces of paper, and he goes there all the time. He submits the paper to the election commission, and the election commission, after really thorough investigations, the investigation found out that the Future Forward Party 
is not guilty of anything. But then the election commission, the body itself, the panel that sits on the investigative committee, decides to say that, hey, guilt, future forward is guilty. Sends the case to the constitutional court, and then the constitutional court hears zero witnesses. Zero. And then the court is out the party. And then ban the executives for 10 years. 10 years from politics. Now, the equivalent would be, let's say, uh, which is the government in charge. Well, let's say, okay, let's say the Federal Election Commission in the United States sends a case to the Supreme Court in favor of the dissolution of either the Democrat Party or the Republican Party. Let's say they, they do that. And then the court takes it up within like two months. Actually, within a month. Actually, within a week. And then it dissolves the Democrat Party because of financial irregularities. Dissolves the entire party. Now, if you want to imagine how the Thai people in general feel, imagine that happening. And also, the removal twice of a democratically elected leader by a push, by a coup, with tanks rolling on the streets. And then, this, and then imagine the dissolution of three other political parties before this. So if you want to imagine how, in general, the Thai people who are, for the most part, in favor of democratic institutions in this country feel, I mean, that's the equivalent. So how do you think I feel? The, the, I mean, I, I would like to summarize what's happening today. Talking about, and the intention of the show, this is supposed to be a kid-friendly show, so I don't want to do a rant. Totally, okay? I don't want to do a, a Ben Shapiro, Michael Knowles, Andrew Clavin rant like that. I want to do a summary of what happened today. But the only thing relevant happened today is this. I mean, there, there's, a, there's a story about a family of a guy who is tremendously impoverished, has a lot of debt, and he, he killed uh, himself and the, the other four members of his family and also like five dogs. It's... It's horrible, it's a bad story, but aside from that, I mean, the only story today is the dissolution of the local party. And I have to be frank with you, um, since it is an English language show, I do, I, I do have the, uh, the, the leeway of telling uh, cool little stories that I can't necessarily in Thai. Um, I had the opportunity to speak to both Tanaton and Beibut back during the formation. I mean, they came to Voice TV and I had the opportunity to interview them. And I fell for them. I told them that, you know, they're going to go after you. They're going to go after you because it's never fair. And it's a judicialized version of politics. It's messed up. It's not a pure dictatorship. I mean, there is a part of the judiciary branch. There's a part of all of these institutional organizations that is supposed to be independent, but not, that are all ready to tackle anyone from this side. And it also goes to proof, you know, but, and, but they were bent on doing what they were doing because they're determined souls. We applaud them for that. But, you know, looking, at, looking down the road, I mean, there are real questions that people will be asking and, and international institutions. You know, the European Union had a statement on this, I think, but also other bodies. The idea is this. The idea is that, number one, are independent organizations in Thailand independent? No. They should be, but they're not. They can be. In the past, they have been. I would even say these institutional organizations, these independent bodies, are really tarnishing the image of Thailand. I mean, Thailand was not a basket case back in the 80s. We were transitioning towards more democracy. Our economy was performing rather well. 
Even during the toxic regime, the economy was performing well, and there was political stability. It's the mess that began in about 2005 with the protests leading up to the coup, leading up to the shredding of a constitution, leading up to another coup, leading up to the shredding of another constitution. All of that put the country in the basket case. And we are entering a mode where what I'm calling judicialized politics is even more representative of what is more a full-blown dictatorship. So it's bad stuff. Um, there's a new English language news website that I recommend. It's, it's written well and it's got great fonts. It's called a Thai Inquirer and I, I do recommend that. Uh, so there's a lot of question and, and people are asking whether or not there are protests. I mean, there are small protests now in front of the Future Forward Party. There's only so much they can do. You know, I mean, there's only so much you can, they can, you can do when you, you don't have, I mean, you don't have the army on your side. Do you have the courts on your side? I don't think so. Do you have the National Anti-Corruption Commission on your side? No. Do you have the Election Commission working for you? No. And Future Forward Party is just another victim. I mean, previously you had the Tyra Thai Party, you had the People Powers Party. Those parties were resolved as well. So this is not new. Now, in the past, there was an attempt to justify these coups and these extra nor extraordinary intervention by courts in political cases based on the idea that is done to push former Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawat out and his clan. You know what? That does not sell anymore. When in fact, you don't only go after Paxin, you don't all, all, only go after Yingluck, you go after practically every major political party that is on the democratic side. Tanaton doesn't work for Thaksin. Tanaton formed a new political party. He 